<laughs> While we're talking about Americans, can we talk about how every time ESPN FC has to tweet something about Tyler Adams or Weston McKinney, it's just them. Thank you for bringing like, that up. Bodying. Like, like committing yes. an egregious foul that's like a straight red, I feel like. You know what? If that is the United States, I, I know that we want a lot more from the United States men's national team and we have a lot more to give, I feel like. But if that's like our reputation going forward, I'm I'm pretty OK with that. I like that. I like see, honestly, we are more rough on the football pitch than they are with Tom Brady on the football field. <laughs> How do you guys feel when you see like do you see that and you're like, fuck yeah, like those are my dogs, or are you like, this is cringe? Or is it somewhere sometimes between? for for a moment, it's always for a brief moment. I'm like, damn, got his ass. And then I'm like, damn, they about to get relegated. So it's like, you know, th- it would be a lot cooler if they were winning. If they were winning, yeah, it'd be super badass Brexit. Okay, that's a Sean Dyche kind of play. And I'm, they don't yeah. have a Sean Dyche kind of record right now. So, and I'm all for hard physical play. You know, like that's that that's honestly what I prefer to see out there in mm-hmm. the prem, especially. And and that's how I like to play in general. You know, uh, yeah. uh, IRL. Your but, Wayne Rooney is showing. Well, I need to shave off all my hair on my head, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's just that is not their whole persona. I feel like. You know, and I think to y'all's point, it's especially cringe that Leeds is sucking ass. And they're like, look at what Tyler Adams did. He just shoved this guy to the ground and then stood above him. Yeah. And then in the corner like, of the picture. Uh, in like the, American had grit. In the corner, it just says Wolves 3, lead 0. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, that's what actually matters, people. Yeah. Like, I don't – let me let me clarify. I don't think it's cringe that they're playing physical. I think it's cool. Everybody likes when a player is being physical. I think it's cringe how U.S. Men's National Team Twitter rides that so hard. Because that's the what only I think thing they cringe. got to ride right now. Everybody knows Tim Way is not doing shit over in over League One either. Like we we need everything we can get. He had one good. Well, I don't even know if it was a shot on target or an attempted cross against PSG. Quiet the rest of the match. He hasn't done shit. No, dude. I mean, you the only what? guy, the only guy that I see doing anything is, uh, and it's probably a guy who's not going to play for the U.S. is Balogun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say it again, bro. He needs to pick Nigeria. And I think, uh, I think Pepe's doing okay since his Damn, move. Pepe's doing okay. Oh, Tor- Luca De La Torre has picked it up recently, like recently. I'm talking like the last month. That he's gotten a couple assists. Well, he was injured. Well, hey, shit, we well, gotta yeah. wait until the we gotta wait till the MLS starts back up. Sarge's been playing on, Shadow man. Striker. He's still their top goal scorer behind Timu Puki still on North. Ah. I wanna I wanna wrap up the uh, the tough guy conversation. I think there's a difference yeah, yeah. when you see somebody like Tyler Adams and Weston McKinney do that, and somebody like the GOAT, Sergio Ramos. Because Ramos can back it up with not just the silverware with but the actual the and talent. Play. Yeah, I mean, honestly, fuck the medals. It's you're just you're just world class when you're not world class and you're compensating extremely by just fouling people and trying to fight right. every single dead ball. And sometimes I watch it and I'm like, I watch Tyler Adams. I'm like, you're just being a dick. Why are you being a dick yeah. for no reason? You know what I mean? Like right. it, it becomes it becomes a, a detractor because your play doesn't validate it. Not a good That's fair. That's yeah. fair because even at Spurs, when you watch uh, Cuti Romero do something like that. For every dirty foul that he has, he has the cleanest slide tackle. He's the best slide tackler in the Prem. Yeah. He is the best slide tackle in the, him and Caicedo. They, I mean, and he's when the best he goes to the ground, team. it's, oh, yeah, yeah. With, by far. Uh, your boy, Emerson Royale, been returning to form for we're gonna some talk, reason. We're going to talk about Tottenham. You no, know what it let's, is? Let's, let's, okay. Let's All right. We're going to say that. All right. I got to say the second. But yeah. This... I, <laughs> I, I, I want the first take there. Let me take the first shot. Um, but the the thing is, like, you have to have something to balance that out. You're correct. Like, you it can't just be like absolute, you know, dog shit play, and then just uh, overall as a team. I'm not saying that they're absolute dog shit, and then you you balance it out because you're angry every time you take the pitch because the rest of the team is is ass. Like, there's there's got to be something else there to contribute. You you cannot be single dimensional in the uh, one dimensional in the Premier League. I need to see Tyler Adams channel his inner Roy Keane. He already yes. is. The only but difference not, is they're getting relegated. No, yeah, but, but Roy, yeah, but Roy Keane could back it up. Roy Keane yes. had tech, he had skill, he had touch, he had finesse. 
Oh, Tyler Adams doesn't lace Roy Keane's boots. Let me. There's, yeah, sure. I'm not saying that. I think he's trying <clears throat> to. He just ain't got it like that. You don't I, have the sauce. I, I'm, I'm trying to say that he needs to emulate him. If if he's going for this hard o type personality. Yeah, correct. There's something about playing like that when you're just religiously losing that leaves like a bitter taste in yeah. your mouth. Like, I don't, do you guys remember, Jake, you and I did a live stream together after the Mexico-US game when like Chaka Rodriguez like clawed Brendan Aronson's face. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. And like, I'm a Mexico fan, but I saw that and I'm like, you fucking bellend. You know what I mean? I'm like, you just look like a piece of shit. You look like you're conceding that you can't hold this man and the only thing you can do is injure him to slow him down. Really well said. Really well said. There it is. There's the point. There's nothing else that you can do, so you're resorting to cheap violence. This is yeah. no longer a mental game that you're playing against the opponent. This is not no longer I'm going to go out there and die for the badge. This is I'm frustrated, so I'm going to throw a fit. Yeah. Which, to be fair, and I'm trying to think back, I think Leeds historically is known for violent players. Like, like we're talking 80s. It sounds like a stereotype, and I don't subscribe to that. Those. That sounds like Man United slander. That sounds like some Man United echo chamber it bullshit. It could be. It could nah, be. You, you definitely read but that I'm on a saying. Mark Goldbridge YouTube video. Jake's, Jake's on the, the Man United Ultras uh, Reddit. Saying.